Welcome to Electric U. I'm Dia, the SparkFun Electronics Textile Specialist. And I'm Nick, Creative Technologist. Today we want to talk to you about a couple of really fun products. The Lilypad MP3 Trigger is an easy way to integrate MP3 quality sound into your project. We'll also talk about reed switches. It's a button that you actuate using a magnet. Bring a magnet close to it and it turns your project on or off. To demonstrate both of these products, we made this Krampus stocking. We made it using a pattern from Spoonflower user Third Half Studios that made it easy to put together, and then we added e-textiles on top of it. The Krampus is a terrifying monster from Alpine Myth. While St. Nicholas brings gifts to all the well-behaved children, Krampus is stalking the land, punishing children who have misbehaved. Cause enough trouble, and Krampus will throw you in his sack and steal you back to his lair. This is our Krampus stocking. As you can see, we've hidden all of the circuitry behind Krampus's baby snatching basket. And if you put the baby in the basket, his eyes light up a malevolent red. And when you pull it back out, you get this terrifying Krampus sound clip. So here's the circuit, all laid out where it's really easy to see on a single piece of fabric. To trigger a sound on the MP3 board, all you have to do is ground one of the numbered buttons. So I've got the read switch between the track one button and ground. I'm also powering my LEDs off of the 3.3 volt pin on the positive side and on the other side of the read switch from ground. That means that when the read switch connects it to ground, the LEDs will light up at the same time as the track one button gets grounded. When I bring the magnet near, my LEDs turn on and my track plays. The Lilypad MP3 board has a lot more functionality than we took advantage of in this project. If you add a potentiometer to the board, it acts a lot more like a traditional MP3 player, allowing you to play and pause and switch tracks. Also, you can use any kind of button you want to trigger your sound files. As long as you're grounding one of the numbered pins, then your sound file is going to trigger. You can use any kind of momentary switch or even a homemade button. Also, the board is reprogrammable using Arduino. We hope that these products help you with your next audio project. And remember, be good this year. Krampus is watching.